Hi guys, this is Malucha and welcome back to Dauntless. Last week we took a look, well last week Friday, yeah, so last week, we took a look into the new roadmap that they officially launched on their official site. Uh, and we got a look into their future plans, what they are working on uh, right now, what they are working on and uh, well, what they are planning to work on in the future, I guess you could say. And we're one week later, uh, I was coming home expecting to have patch notes. Uh, but there are no patch notes today, but there is big, big news. Uh, it seems that the not-so-far future of what they are looking at is already here. So let's take a look at the new mastery system. So right on the main page, if we go to the news bullet, the latest news featuring the mastery system. Learn more. Let's learn a little bit more april the 10th uh it's the 11th uh, it came online yesterday around i think it was one o'clock uh but i had to wake up at five so yeah i kind of kind of missed it uh the mastery system in brief the mastery system arrives on april the 24th uh so in two weeks next week 24th uh in two weeks in two weeks time it's gonna be released Unlock the mastery cards and complete objectives to level up. Each type of mastery grants new rewards. Earn weapon mods and special, uh, specials to customize your weapons. The reputation tracks will be retired. So no longer reputation tracks where at the end of the reputation track when you gain the new level or you uh, just finished it at a certain point, you just finished the level so you don't actually level up anymore. Uh, you basically got a cell. Uh, those reputation tracks are gonna be removed when mastery system is coming into work. So don't uh, be alarmed too much if you don't find uh, your reputation tracks anymore. Prove your skill. You've made it to the maelstrom. You've taken on some tougher battles. But how do you know when you've finally moved on from rookie rank to master slayer? The mastery system. This brand new system delivers a raft of challenging uh, a raft of challenges. They can take you on to the Earn Mastery Experience. Raise your mastery levels and unlock a rich of assortments of rewards. When introduced in the Path of the Slayer update OB 0.7.1. So there is a 0.7.0 because we didn't have that one yet. No, the last one was 0.6.10. So yeah, in, in, in two weeks, which means that next week we are going to get patch notes or even this week, uh, but they are not here yet. So uh, yeah, kind of need to look forward to those as well. The mastery system will offer mastery objectives for each behemoth and weapon in the game. Ready to dig in. Mastery cards. The mastery system begins with mastery cards. When you first reach a behemoth or craft a new weapon, you'll unlock a mastery card specific to that creature or item. Open up a mastery from the main menu. Uh, open up mastery from the main menu and select the card to check out its details. The anatomy of a master card. Let's take a look at the master card for Boreas or Boreas. So mastery slayer level fifty. Uh, you've got your different types of weapons here in the side. You got the behemoth. Uh, so Behemoth Mastery Bronze Utility Core that you're going to get at level 2, I think. Level 1 and then it goes from right to left. Kind of kind of, kind of strange. Uh, usually it goes from, uh, goes from left to right. Uh, kind of strange. Uh, so Boreas complete objectives to earn rewards. Hunt Boreas, hunt Boreas wearing Boreas armor. Craft all the Boreas armor. Upgrade all Boreas armor to plus 6. Upgrade all Boreas armor plus 10. Deal 5 million damage to Boreas. Holy hell, those are some numbers. That's that's good. That's definitely uh, that's definitely an objective. 5 million damage. Uh, hunt Dreadfrost Boreas while taking less than 100 damage. Ooh, that's actually a tough one. Uh, hunt Dreadfrost Boreas in under 3 minutes. Holy hell, those objectives. They're insane. They're gonna be so fun to work to. Oh hell, okay, so let's uh, see what they mean with it. So one is Slayer level, your current Slayer level. As you can see here in the top, uh, here it says 50, uh, Slayer level 1, I think. Mastery 50, Slayer level 1, it says. 
Behemoth mastery, your current behemoth mastery level, this measures the mastery of all behemoths, not just the one you're currently viewing. So behemoth mastery, uh, he's going towards level 2, I believe, uh, from level 1. Or he's, uh, or he's moving towards level 1. Because the 2 is actually an explanation. Yeah, that's the behemoth mastery. And then we have 3. Well, it's 3. Uh, reward previews. This is the reward you'll receive when you reach your next mastery level. 4 is the objectives. Completing objectives raises your overall slayer level and the mastery level related to that card. Since this is a behemoth card, making progress on it contributes to your behemoth mastery level. So that's for the objectives. Uh, complete the objectives to earn rewards. Five, the progression uh, checkbox. Complete an objective to mark it as complete. Uh, I do believe it's gonna be auto-marked. Uh, it would be silly if we could mark it ourselves. Uh, and I do wonder, because uh, I have Boreas armor and I have all Boreas armor level up to 10, um, these should be cross-marked for a lot of... Uh, a lot of behemoths and a lot of cards uh, for me already but i can imagine for newer players every time they really do make that new weapon or that new behemoth uh it's it's gonna be so lovely to actually see the card and see what they are gonna need to do to actually master it uh the progress bar objectives that require multiple hunts or steps will have a progress bar next to them fill the progress bar to complete the objective and earn a check mark so this is the six, uh, yeah. So hunt Boreas wearing Boreas armor. You need to hunt him 10 times wearing Boreas armor. So here you're gonna need to be able to see how, uh, how many times you already did it, which is really, really easy. Uh, progress counter for another way of measuring your objective progress seven. So that's the, uh, the numbers behind it that actually says how many times you need to do it. Uh, same here, like the five million and you have a progress bar that probably will say or percentage, I think, or it would say the actual number that you already have done. Mastery levels. We mentioned mastery levels a few times now, but what exactly are they? With the introduction of mastery system, the weapon master, alchemist, and other reputation tracks will be removed and replaced with mastery levels. These include slayer levels, behemoth mastery, and weapon masteries. The sword, the hammer, the chain, the axe, the warpike, and the repeaters. Each measure of your mastery comes with a new set of rewards specific to that mastery. Here's the breakdown. Slayer level. What is it? A high level measure of your slayer's accomplishments. Those who make it all the way to slayer level 50 will earn the coveted title of master slayer. Definitely something worth uh, playing for. Master Slayer, nice title. How do I raise my Slayer level? Every objective you complete in the Mastery system contributes to your Slayer level. Slay behemoths, craft powerful gear, and prove your skill with various weapons to climb your way to the top. So uh, basically everything you do in the game, upgrading your armor, creating your armor, uh, killing behemoths, damaging behemoths, probably everything you do uh, will actually uh, raise your Slayer level. What do I get for leveling up? Course, titles, permanent gains to health and stamina, and more loot from your hunts. So cores and titles, we already read that, but permanent gains to health and stamina, an increase in your health pool and a stamina pool. And I also think this is kind of a prelude. This is just me, my brain working overtime again. Uh, I think this is a prelude to we already uh, talked about a previous episode ago about new planes coming to Dauntless. Uh, like, uh, I think above the Maelstrom. I kind of hope above the Maelstrom. And it would make sense that uh, they would increase the health pool and the stamina pool by the time we actually get to those behemoths that would be even more tougher than the Maelstrom heroic behemoths we have now. So that kind of only makes sense that this is why they also are going to raise our health and our stamina. It's kind of my thought on it. It might not be exactly like I'm saying it, but for me it kind of makes sense that this is why they would do it. Uh, to increase your survivability against higher level behemoths that are not in the game yet. Uh, the behemoth mastery. What is it exactly what it sounds like? A measure of your mastery over all types of behemoths. This includes both the measure of skill and the physical proof of conquest. How do I raise my behemoth mastery? Slay behemoths, craft and upgrade behemoth armors, complete the mastery objectives on behemoth guards, 
I hunt Dreadforce Perea on another 3 mids, break Behemoth Park. So as I said, everything... Holy hell. Lightning Storm in the back. Let's turn that off for a second. So uh, what is it? How do I... So like I said, everything you do in the game will actually uh, increase some mastery rank uh, one or another. Or weapons or the specific Behemoth or... Uh... So that's pretty good. Uh, everything you're going to will uh, level you up. What do I get for leveling up? Increased carry capacity for consumables. Hey, pop up. Uh, increased carry capacity for consumables. That is a good one. Because for certain flasks, I think the the healing for the group on damage, you can only carry three. Uh, I do believe the grenades, you can only carry three. So if you're going to get an increased capacity, maybe you can take five grenades. Maybe you can take seven health potions I, I i'm really not sure but yeah an increase in consumable uh capacity that's really good elemental resistance bonuses and more loot when you break behemoth parts so basically if you level up at a certain point when you break a behemoth part it's gonna drop more parts or more loot out of the specific part you actually drop that's really nice that's that's gonna be really really nice Weapon mastery, what is it? A way to measure your skill with a specific type of weapon. There are separate mastery levels for each of the six weapon types. Swords, chains, blade, warpike, hammer, repeaters and axe. So we are looking at the warpike mastery. He is level 0 and he's halfway towards the level 1. Mastery level 50. Slayer level is not even pointed out here. Uh, and then Pike Affinity, here you can see Pike Affinity and all the different Pikes you actually have. Uh, so for each Pike you're gonna have a different card. Uh, so expose 5 Behemoth Wounds with any War Pike, with any War Pike, oh, so that's an overall for the Pike Affinity. Uh, deal 50k damage to Behemoths with any War Pike. Deal 50k damage to Behemoths with any physical War Pike. Ah, okay, so for this one, the God Hand for instance, the Beam would work. But for this one, the beam would not work. Because it's not a physical attack. Okay, deal 50k damage to behemoths with any blaze warpike. And I do believe, as we can see the little bar here, that it goes on and it will probably have uh, a blaze one, an electric one, a frost one, uh, an aether. Uh, uh, I'm losing a radiant and... Um, uh, what's the last one? How can I how can I miss the last element in this game? Ah, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, probably the bar will go down, and you're gonna need. Uh, it's gonna be a whole lot more than the four we can read here. The War Pike Mastery card. How do I raise my weapon mastery? Craft weapons from the category you want to improve. Wield them in hunts. Prove that you know how to use them. What do I get for leveling up? Weapon specific titles as the Pike Master. Nice. So basically, if you're going to see somebody with the uh, name Pike Master, you know he put in a lot of work to actually get that. Because I can only imagine that Mastery System is going to level 50. I do believe that then the War Pike Mastery might also go to 50. Uh, it might be 20, as we had the caps right now with the experience bars. But they actually might raise it as well. What do I get for leveling up weapon specific titles? Pike Master, new weapon specials and new weapon mods. About that. Weapon specials and mods. The Path of a Slayer update doesn't just rework the way you hunt, it also refines the way you fight. In each set of the weapon mastery rewards, you'll see an alternate, alternate weapon special and new weapon mods. Each of these rewards can be unlocked and equipped to customize the way you fight with that weapon. But only one can one of each can be equipped at one time. You'll find plenty of ways to mix and match, especially when you start combining these with the new options with our ever-evolving cell system. Weapon Specials. All weapons start out with a default special move. For the sword, it's the Valiant Overdrive that activates when you hit Q or right mouse button. Players who raise their weapon mastery can add to that with a mastery special, a second alternative special move. Here we get to look. Ah, oh, look, I knew it, Tasmanian Devil style. Ah, oh, nice. The sword Ardent Cyclone special unleashes a devastating spin attack. Only one special move can be equipped at a time, but adjusting them is simple. Just look under modifications in the loadout screen once the path of the Slayer update has launched. 
Note, the X and the repeater specials are still in development and will launch at a later date. Weapon mods, working your way... Oh, so uh, X and repeaters. So we are going to get the pike special. We're going to get a new sword special, which we just saw here. And we are going to get a new hammer special as well, actually. Because the hammers are not in development anymore, as I can read here. So weapon mods, working your way through weapon mastery will also unlock some weapon mods. These are an entirely new way to customize your weapon. Equipped Cry of the Shrike plus 4, 260 power, 1 conditioning, 100 part damage on your next hit after a dodge. Ardent Cyclone, activate at full meter to start a spin damaging nearby enemies for the duration. Reactivate to slash in a direction damaging enemies. So uh, it's basically going to be like the hammer and the axe. If you activate it before the spin ends, and with the hammer is it when it actually, before it actually reaches your hand, you're going to be able to do um, a slash in a direction uh, for uh, hurting it, just as you can do a slam with the hammer and the axe uh, as you do that as well. So here we're going to see modifications, Ardent, Cyclone, activate at full meter to start a spin damaging nearby, blah, 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 blah. And an adhesive hilt, become unstaggerable while in special. I knew they had to put in something like this, because if you are stuck in that spin move and you can't end it, uh, you're going to get knocked out if you don't put anything like this in. So adhesive hilt, and then here you can see he has one agility cell plus one and no mobility cells equipped and then a transmog button as we know it. So new options, modifications that we're gonna be able to do on our weapons. Select a special move from the loadout. Just like with the weapon special move, only one mod can be equipped at a time, but each one offers a unique way to tune your sling. Let's take a closer look by checking out the sword, uh, sword mods. Icon, name and a modification. So the perpetual blade core dealing damage while in special generates a small amount of special meter. So that's pretty good. Actually, you can get your special up more and more and faster and faster this way. Uh, I can already see some builds where that would be. Well, basically, you would be getting your special 24-7. Um, adhesive hilt becoming unstaggerable while in your special. And then the reactive hilt dodge attacks always critical strike. So this is a real nice one, uh, instead of the 100, uh, what was it, 100 part damage on your next hit, uh, it's actually gonna change into dodge attacks always critical strike, or it's gonna be on top of it. Because it's not, it's, it, it doesn't say that it's gonna remove the dodge. In our previous notes, when we read the, the roadmap, it says that dodge attacks, you can be swapped out with... Um, the part damage but I do believe they are gonna be able to work together because you're gonna be able to put that in here and it's gonna be nothing it go it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, actual stats of your weapon it's just something you can uh, increase your weapon with that's that's really really nice if even just looking at these three mods you can start to piece together some builds and with cells in the mix you can even get more creative I know right now people are gonna be able to create broken uh broken broken stuff uh but i just hope it it they don't consider it broken um this game needs massively fun aoe damaging things while you cannot die or i i always think sometimes this game is missing some in movement um some some like differentiation in 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 how you move in this game uh, and uh, yeah, bring it, bringing in multiple specials is definitely a way to uh, well, switch it up a little bit at least. I do hope and eventually we're going to be able to jump over behemoths. I'm still saying it like the jump button we have right now. I don't really see any people really jumping uh, ever at behemoths. Uh, it's, it's unnecessary. Uh, and giving us the ability to jump over, I'm not going to say Boreas, but... Give us an ember main or something, something small to the ground. Let us be able to jump over it. Um, so in theory, now that you've had a peek at the sword mods and specials, let's see what you can come up with. Head over to the Dauntless form or Art Dauntless and share your best, best path of the Slayer sword build. That means one special, one mod, armor, weapon, and all of your needed cells. Oh, and don't forget to name it. It is in the build without a good name. 
So this is the complete uh, explanation of the new uh, mastery system. And I do have to say it does look incredible. This is gonna... Well, hunting behemoths, it's, it's still fun. Uh, being able to craft up all your weapons to level 10 is still fun. Uh, it's, it's well it it feels there there is a certain progression in it and it feels it feels nice it's at a, it's at a good pace uh but uh, well i think i said this before maybe a couple months ago this game is missing achievements and i'm kind of thinking these are minor achievements like if you can do all the things you need to do you're gonna get titles and and what's the best thing about an achievement is that you're gonna get a title that says look at what i did like that's that's what a title is. Look at what I did. The titles you can buy basically with the tracks. I don't really consider uh, to be that meaningful. They're nice. They're nice, nice names. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a whole different meaning behind the the title. So really, really looking forward to that one. Um, I do believe that the amount of content in this game actually just well doubled. Let's say. Uh, stuff you can actually do and have to uh, try to be specific about how you do it. I do believe this is a huge, huge content update. And there you have it, guys. The first look into the mastery system. I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Uh, I know it's been a kind of a long video, a long explanation. I've probably brabbled on. I hope it didn't bore you guys too much. So later today, maybe, or next week, we're going to get the patch notes for 0 0.7.0. And then in two weeks, we're going to get the patch no We're going to get the patch for uh, the new mastery system. Uh, it's going to be 0.7.1 as uh, I read it properly. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys are excited as I am. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.